Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a problem from pair of linear equations in two variables but a little different kind of problem. So the given equations are root x plus y equals to 7 and x plus root y equals to 11. Both the equations are having square root symbol so that's why we are making it little simple that is I am taking x is equals to p square and y is equals to q square. So the first equation is given as root x plus y is equals to 7. So this is the first equation we have. Now in the place of x p square and in the place of y q square root x is nothing but p square plus y is nothing but q square which is equals to 7. Here square root and square will cancel so we remains with p plus q square is equals to 7. Now let us take the second equation that is x plus root y is equals to 11. x is nothing but p square plus root y is nothing but q square which is equals to 11. Here also square and square root will cancel. So we remains with p square plus q is equals to 11. Now from this equation p is equals to if I take q square to the right side it will become minus. So 7 minus q square. Now this p value I will substitute in this. So we have p square plus q is equals to 11. Now in the place of p I will substitute this value that is 7 minus q square whole square plus q is equals to 11. Now this is a minus b whole square formula. So if we expand it we will get a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b plus q as it is is equal to 11. 7 square 49 plus q square whole square q power 4 minus 2 7 is 14 q square plus q is equal to 11. If I write this in order q power 4 minus 14 q square plus q plus 49 is equal to 11. Now I will bring this 11 to this side so it will become minus 11. So we remains with q power 4 minus 14 q square plus q uh, plus 49 minus 11 minus 38 is equal to 0. If we got a quadratic equation by splitting the middle term we can find the zeros or roots easily. But in this case this is the fourth degree. So we don't know the splitting middle term here. We cannot apply even. So what I will do? I will go with the assume method. So first I will think q value as 1 and I will check whether that 1 is a 0 or not. If it is not a 0, I will go with minus 1. The same way plus 2, minus 2, plus 3, minus 3, plus 4, minus 4. I will keep on checking one by one number. So first I will check q equals to 1. q power 4. We got the equation as q power 4 minus 14 q square. Plus q plus 38 is equal to 0. So first I am checking with 1. If q equals to 1, I will substitute 1 wherever I have q. So 1 power 4 minus 14 into 1 square plus 1 plus 38. 1 power 4, 1 minus 1 square is 1. 1 into 14, 14 plus 1 plus 38. 38 plus 1, 39, 39 plus 1, 40, 40 minus 14, not equals to 0. So, Q is, 1 is not a 0. Now, I will take minus 1. If Q equals to minus 1, minus 1 whole power 4, minus 14 into minus 1 power square, plus of minus 1, plus 38, minus 1 whole power 4, plus 1, minus 1 whole square, plus 1, plus 1 into minus 14, minus 14, plus of minus, minus 1, plus 38, here minus 1, plus 1 cancel, 38 minus 14, again this is also not equal to 0, plus 1 is not a 0, minus 1 is not a 0, now I will move to plus 2, if q is equals to plus 2. The equation is q power 4 minus 14 q square plus q plus 38 is equals to 0. So now I will substitute 2. 
टू पावर फोर माइनस फोर्टीन इंटू टू स्क्वेयर प्लस टू प्लस थर्टी एट टू पावर फोर सिक्सटीन माइनस टू स्क्वेयर फोर फोर्टीन फोर जो फिफ्टी सिक्स प्लस टू प्लस थर्टी एट फोर्टी फोर्टी प्लस सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टी सिक्स इज जीरो सो टू इज अ जीरो ऑफ क्यू पावर फोर माइनस फोर्टीन क्यू स्क्वेयर प्लस क्यू प्लस थर्टी एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो इट मीन्स क्यू इक्वल टू टू वी गॉट सो प्रीवियसली वी हैव वन मोर इक्वेशन दैट इज हियर पी इक्वल टू सेवन माइनस क्यू स्क्वेर पी इक्वल टू सेवन माइनस क्यू स्क्वेर so in the place of q i will substitute that 2 p is equals to 7 minus 2 square so we will get p is equals to 7 minus 4 so p is equals to 3 p is equals to 3 and q is equals to 2 but in the beginning of the question we took x value as p square and y value as q square x is equals to p square x is equals to p square so x is equals to what is the p value we have 3 so 3 square x is equals to 9 the same way y is equals to q square so y is equals to q value we got as 2 so 2 square then y is equals to 4 x value is 9 and y value is 4 If you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe it for more videos thank you